Data mashups are an increasingly popular Web 2.0 technology which allow users to combine data from multiple sources into a single, usable tool. This video will demonstrate how to create a data mashup using a Google spreadsheet which contains location information combined with a Google gadget to create a customized map. A mashup is defined on Wikipedia as a web page or application that combines data or functionality from two or more external sources to create a new service. Take a look at some of these cool existing mashups I found on the Google Maps website. First, for the fishing enthusiast, here's a mashup which displays fishing holes in the central and southwestern Virginia region, a great way to find your next favorite fishing hole. For the paranormal enthusiast, here's a matchup, mashup which displays haunted places in the northeastern region of the United States, a great way to spend a vacation. For the outdoor enthusiast, here's a mashup displaying all of the hiking trails in and around the San Francisco Bay Area, a great way to spend your vacation. Finally, my favorite mashup, for those of you who might ever get the chance to visit Australia, Consider spending an afternoon searching for the Tas Tasmanian tiger, reported to be extinct. Here's a mashup of all the current sightings. Mashups can serve not only a recreational function, as I've demonstrated with these examples, but also a more directed and pur purposeful function in a variety of settings. For example, take a look at the School of Education website for Virginia Tech. The IDT program graduates are listed here. What if we could take the locations of each of these graduates and display them on an overall map so we can get a bird's eye view of where all the graduates are located? That's exactly what we're going to do next. First, log into the Google Documents page, docs.google.com. If you don't have a Google account, it's easy to get started with one by clicking the Get Started button in the lower right section. Once logged in, from the Create New drop-down, select Spreadsheet. A blank spreadsheet will open in a new window. In the interest of time, I've already typed each address and I'll paste them into this document. So now we have a spreadsheet with the location of each graduate student listed in a single column. Now we want to include these addresses in a map so we can get an overall view of the locations of each graduate student. We'll do this using a gadget that's already been created for us. A woman named Pamela Fox created it, so we'll do a web search to find Pamela's gadget. We'll open a new tab. We're going to do a Google search for Pamela Fox Geocoding. first link you should see is titled, And Other Fancy Stuff, Geocoding with Google Spreadsheets. Click the link, scroll down to item 3 where you'll see a link to the URL for the gadget. Follow the link and then copy the URL. Return to your spreadsheet. and we're ready to insert that gadget into our spreadsheet document. Click the Insert menu, choose Gadget, click Custom, and paste the URL. The next step is to edit this gadget so that it knows which data to use to display a map. I'll click in the range box to select it and then I'll move back to my spreadsheet and select the range of cells in column A which contain the locations I want to include on my map. Scrolling back to the gadget window I'll click apply and close. 
And finally, so that I can see the gadget map easier, I'll click on the drop down of the gadget in the top right corner and choose Move to Own Sheet. This will place the map on a separate worksheet within the same document. Finally, with the gadget in place, I'll click the Find Addresses button and the gadget will locate each of the addresses on a map. To see the map more easily, I can click and hold with my mouse to drag the portion of the map which contains the locations to the center. I can use the buttons along the left to zoom in. and dragging as needed. You'll notice also that there are three different views. Currently I'm in the map view. I can also choose to view this map as from a satellite view or a hybrid view which shows me a little satellite and a little map. I like this one best so we'll stick there. The most important thing to remember as you're working on a document is to always save. With your gadget saved, you can close the document. It will be returned to your Google Documents homepage where you'll see the document you've just created. By selecting the document, you can choose to share by inviting others. in which case you'd need the email address of any person with whom you'd like to share the map. Another way to share the document is to copy the link. You get the link, you can allow anyone who has the link to view it. You can also allow them to edit by selecting this next option. Copy the link and share via email or IM as instructed. Another way to share is by looking at the See Who Has Access. You'll notice that currently sign is required to view this item. I can change that and say let people view this item without signing in. That's a wrap up of how to create a custom mashup using Google Docs. I've shared this document online with the following URL. Please take a moment to visit the Google Docs website and the URL you see here and practice editing and viewing the document we've created here. Thanks for watching.